year got to enjoy probably one of the more remarkable moments that we've had in this neighborhood in, in a long time. Uh, the, the moment that Steve McDonald came and played his beautiful music for us. So tonight, again, we are honored, uh, to say the least, to have this wonderful gentleman in our presence. Now to tell you about Steve, he goes back, uh, back into the 60s, 70s, and the 80s. Okay, so he made it out of that alive in music. <laughs> and he's with us today. Uh, but you know, he's not into the same brand of music. Today, it's more about family. It's more about his Scottish tradition, where he came from, and uh, him here tonight, more importantly, where we're all going. And he's gonna, he's gonna really give us a, um, a great show tonight. And uh, for all of you, I know, you know, it's Friday and we all took time off, but uh, we're, we're, we're gonna make it a lovely evening. And uh, without any further ado, this is my beautiful wife, Susie. Susie? I'm sure everybody knows who I am. I hope everybody knows who I am. Anyway, I would like to tell you how I ever, how I first heard uh, the music of Steve McDonald. Um, in the year 2000, I graduated from college in Miles City, Montana, and uh, the three years prior to that, I had, I met somebody that was uh, that introduced me to his music, and. I, I remember distinctly going to this person's uh, room at the dorms and looking for a tape so I could figure out, or it was a CD already at that time, or maybe it was, I don't even remember, it was the year of like 98, 99, and 2000, and I wanted to know where this music was from because I didn't want to ask him, oh, can I have this tape, or can I borrow it, or whatever. So I found the label, Eth Ethrian, am I pronouncing that right, Ethrian? <laughs> Ethereum Music was the label that Steve was under uh, in Colorado, so I literally um, learned how to email in college be, uh, because where I came from, a little Hutterite col uh, colony in Montana, there's no such thing as email and computers and TVs and radios, whatever. So I, e I emailed uh, Ethereum Music and I've been uh, buying his tapes ever since and then I learned that he got somebody out here in California and I, I didn't even really get involved with that until one day this awesome person Jackie Bishop over there text found me on Facebook and said hey how would you like to have a house concert with Steve and I like literally literally uh, I can't I can't describe it <laughs> yeah I couldn't believe that this could be cool what's happening to me because uh, he is like so good and that he's coming to our house is amazing and um, uh, the year 2000 is when uh, Steve's music really got me through my mom's death. My mom died in 2000 when I graduated from college, and his music just helped me through that. It was a, it was a really, like I said, time in my life. And so, without further ado, Steve McDonald. I would like to say something else today. I went to the to the exchange on base. Now listen to this. We're in the back, and I'm and I see these soldiers, and they're with some of our Marines. And uh, when I see soldiers from different countries, you know, I've taken care of like when the Japanese soldiers come over and they get sick, I've taken care of them at the hospital. And uh, I walked up and I said, "Hey, where are you from, guys?" And uh, and lo and behold, you know what they said? We're Kiwis. We're Kiwi soldiers from New Zealand. I mean, like, what is the chance of that? So I'm like, where, uh, what are you doing tonight? Can you come to my house? Because I have somebody special from New Zealand at my house. But they were flying out tonight. So anyway, I had to tell you that. Welcome, everybody, by the way. Uh, thanks, Susie, Mark. Thank you very much. And um, uh, I, must, I must say, it's a... Uh, a great pleasure for me and my wife Joss to be here. Um, these two people are just wonderful. They've been so nice to us. It's overwhelming, actually. Um, so we've not only are we uh, doing shows, uh, or am I doing shows around the place? I'm also making friends, you know. And we are now really good friends, and that's something that will that will last long after the uh, tonight is finished. So, yeah. Um, we are, we are very happy to be here, and, th and thanks for having us. Uh, and I'm going to drink all your beer later on. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so my so my music is about the the history of Scotland in relation to uh, people like myself, uh, third generation Scots living in New Zealand. We have the same situation in Nova Scotia and Canada, uh, right through to Boston that was basically created by the Scots. Um, uh, yeah, some 60 million Americans have Scottish or Irish ancestry, the, the Celtic uh, ancestry. So, yeah, so I went over to Scotland and, and traced a, a few remarkable facts about the MacDonald clan. Some of them weren't particularly nice. <laughs> they weren't all good guys, I tell you that. But um, an incredible history, and so I'm going to share some of that with you tonight. And later on in the second set, uh, when uh, the sun goes down, we might do a bit of uh, a few classic rock songs uh, for, for Mark and, uh, and a few others. Uh, just, you know how these Marines like to uh, misbehave. Uh, this first song is uh, written about 200 years ago. It's entitled Wild Mountain Time. Wild Mountain Time.
Song is an, uh, it's off of my sons of Summerled album. Summerled was uh, uh, the grandfather of the McDonald clan, the grandfather of Donald of Isla back in 1230 AD. Um, he was part Viking. Uh, the name Summerled means summer traveler in, uh, in Viking or Dane. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, he was um, a self proclaimed king of the Western Isles of Scotland. So um, if you're a, a, a Dougal or a Donald or a Donaldson or a MacDonald or a McDonnell or an O'Donnell or any of that, it's all the same. It's all the same family from where you originally came from. I'm full of useless information for you folks, so I'll just keep spitting it out all night, I tell you. Drive you nuts. <laughs> and they're all, if you're wondering where all this sound's coming from, uh, I make my own backing tracks, all the percussion and all the instruments apart from the violin and cello uh, all played by my, me and all the voices are all my own voice that I've recorded, multi-track recorded sometimes up to 48 times to get that choral effect. So It's all me folks, but um, <laughs> not, not right now. Yeah, this song's entitled Per Mare Per Terra, which has the McDonald motto meaning by sea and by land. By sea and by land. Here we go. Thank you. 
A wee drum, as we say, a wee drum. Thank you kindly, man. Thank you kindly. So, uh, just a moment. Uh, so, folks, if you go through this sliding door here, and you'll go down the hallway, uh, uh, through the uh, living room, that first door on the left is going to be the bathroom. <laughs> is that where you're going? That's okay. We, yeah, we, don't, we go inside. <laughs> well, the guys go there. They don't tinkle on the seat. Now, if you tinkle on the seat, you can't go on that one. The girls are going in there. I'm glad we got that sorted out. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> right, there was a famous battle between um, Scotland and England because they fought each other for nearly 2,000 years, 1,700 years. Um, famous battle which was depicted in the film Braveheart, for those of you who have seen that, between Edward II of England and Robert the Bruce of Scotland in the year 1314. Few years ago. And the, the words in this song are courtesy of Robbie Burns. I'm sure he didn't mind that I stole them. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but the kind of address that he believed Robert the Bruce gave his troops as they went into battle on that um, very important day for Scotland, because it's one that we actually won, <laughs> which made a nice change. <laughs> the Battle of Bannockburn. Scots wa hae wi won a splend, Scots that Bruce has often led, welcome to your gory bed, or to victory. Now's the day and now's the hour, see the front of battle law, see approach proud Edward's power, chains and slavery. What can be a traitor's knave? What can fill a coward's grave? What so base as be a slave? Let him turn and flee. What for Scotland's king and law? Freedom's sword will strongly draw. Free man stand or free man fall. Let him follow me. Woes and pains by your sons and servile chains. We will drain our dearest veins, but they shall be free.
with Bennett Boone. Thank you. These are very ancient bagpipes, if you're wondering what they are. You, know, you don't see many of them around anymore. But. Yeah, Battle of Bannock Burn. This next track, uh, especially for Mark, this is his favourite song uh, of mine. Thank you, sir. And this is the title track of Sons of Summerled. Strangely titled Sons of Summerled. Strange. <laughs> As I said, someone was not a particularly um, uh, nice chap. He, he actually used to impale people along the road to his castle just to you know, let you know, don't mess with me sort of stuff. You know, so, so they weren't all lovely, all, all nice, but you know, no one's perfect. I mean, what's <laughs> perfect? Thank you, Mark. Sons of Summerlin. <laughs> One sword was mightier than pen. There lived a clansman bold and true. The very one no name came through. Born a bloodline dating from the hundred battles warrior called. Gaelic Viking in his veins testified his battle in fame. For 350 years, <laughs> the Western Highlands lived in fear, <laughs> fighting to regain the Isles, down to Hyle and Argyle. Centuries that you'll find Sorry. 
From hill to lock and dark fjord Battling till his life he shed Leaving the throne to the sons of summer Oh, that's, I mean, that's great. <laughs> this is the title We Are Scotland. We Are Scotland. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I know my heart belongs to Scotland. Not how near or far we roam. Yet still I hear the pipes along the way call. Calling out to carry my soul back home. We are Scotland, Scotland, Scotland the brave. We are Scotland, Scotland, Scotland the brave. For the brave. song because I know we've got a few um, oh, descendants of Ireland here. To be sure, to be sure. <laughs> Irish are always singing about whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's it. There's just nothing else to say. Ask an Irishman. That's it, I love you, man. <laughs> what should we drink to? He says, how about four in the morning? <laughs> here we go. Old Irish classic song. Oh, 
I met my love by the gas box wall. A train to train by the old canal. I kissed my girl by the factory wall. from my Highland Farewell album. Highland Farewell uh, talks about the, cl the great clearances of Scotland when the troops came in in the middle of the night and took people out of their houses, cribs as they were called. And these are the farmers. They took them out and uh, threw them onto boats and sent them off to Canada in the middle of the night. Hundreds and hundreds of farmers taken off their land. Nothing but the clothes on their back. A lot of them didn't make it, a lot of the families died. Um, and they replaced the farmers with Cheviot sheep. Sheep farming instead of crofting, instead of tilling the land, vegetables, stuff like that. Um, but it, uh, it backfired a wee bit some 40 odd years later when 